D.W. Dice. A sly, stone-cold killer. Drops a body once every blue moon. No hints, no clues, no nothing. Besides a body, a Polaroid, and a single, classic die. The fourth murder of the six. A game of darts at Begin's Pub. A local bar. Sat up at the bar was none other than Thomas C. Raymond, the owner of a large casino down the road. He already had quite a few drinks, perhaps a few too many. The killer walked in and took a seat next to Thomas. The bartender said he never got a good look at the guy, said he was obscured by shadow. He sat quietly for a moment, then pulled a pocket watch and a Polaroid out of his vest, studied the photo for a minute checking the location and time on the back of the photo, and promptly asked Mr. Vraymont for a quick game of darts. Thomas had recently procured some enemies when he started rigging a handful of his casino's games in favor of the house. Seems that some of the unhappy patrons wanted him gone. They picked up the darts and started to play. It was fairly even, until Thomas, with a stroke of luck, set himself up with only seven points left to win. Confident in his dart skills, he sat at the bar and ordered another drink. The killer needed a bullseye to win. He lined up his shot, pulled back, and fired. And in defeat, Vraymont slid his darts across the bar. But then he heard another dart hit the board. This one had pinned something to it. Thomas walked up to the board to investigate a little further, only to find it was a photograph of himself. He looked back from the photo to see a dart brandished in his direction. The game was over. Bullseye. The killer walked over to the bar and dropped a die into Thomas's empty whiskey glass resting on a three. I've been stuck on this case for about two months now. I've got an uneasy feeling about where this road will lead me. Albeit, a road with few clues and far too many turns. I don't know what it is. This case just has a sort of dread looming around it. I'm not sure when this case first made an imprint in my mind. It sure has pushed a dent into my memory. Dice. Why dice? Part of me wants to understand this killer, but the answer to each problem eludes me. A distraction would do me wonders, truly. I've still got work to do, though, so no rest for the wicked. The last kill to date. The fifth. A game of billiards gone wrong. The Undergrounds, a small speakeasy off seventh. A woman by the name of Charlotte M. Tithe, the head of an infamous crime syndicate. It's no wonder that people wanted Tithe dead. She'd recently organized a large scale bank robbery, and people were upset. The game began, the killer took solids, and tie stripes. The game was played quickly, both players making expert shots, but the killer played just good enough to keep himself in the lead. A sort of false hope, maybe just a toy with the target. Charlotte sank the last colored ball, leaving just the eight was set up for an easy win. She struck the cue ball, but it wasn't lined up. The ball missed the eight by a hair, sending the ball in the opposite direction. A rough setup for the killer, 
difficult, but not for a skilled player like Dice. He called his pocket and sank the final ball cleanly. Charlotte turned around to re-chalk her cue in hopes of another game. But then, the killer crept up behind her, and in one swift motion, the tide was gone. The killer fetched a die out of his pocket and tossed it onto the table. A graceful roll. The number two was face up, indicating the second to last kill. That was the most recent murder. Only one left, it seems. There's no doubt that it'll strike again soon. Back enough for the night. You staying much longer? Mm -hmm. Stuck on this case. The dice murders. Crossed every man off my list. I'm missing something. Maybe I ought to take a step back. Got half a mind for a drink and some poker. Care to join? Maybe I'll come later for a game or two or something. All right, Doc. I expect to see you there. What's wrong? Detective. Dice.